often come across the term gut health is it really that important doctor what are your views according to siddha system the, it is mainly based on nine six principles and uh, three humoral theory mainly based on vadam pittam and kavam any derangement in these three humors can cause disease and also the same siddhas are mainly focused on the gut health which uh, saint tiruvalluvar once said that marandana vendavam yakeke arindiyathu attathu potti unin which means that the diet and proper digestion are needed essential for uh, gut health agni which means digestive fire any derangement in this digestive fire can cause indigestion or amam in the stomach which leads to any derangement in the gut flora okay. doctor what are the common cases of gut problems that you face actually as she told in ayurvedic concept sarve roga bhi mandatma that means all the disease is the outcome of derangement of agni similarly our father of medicine hippocrates all the disease begins with the gut so it's not the opinion of siddha alone or ayurveda alone from time in in memorial people are talking about the gut but we often forget about the gut and whatever we like to have we are eating without considering the gut microbiome or bacteria so nowadays uh, people are constantly talking about the gut gut brain uh, system or gut brain gut brain connection etc so in this uh, situation the health of the gut and microbe or microbes in the gut is very important because its normalcy is is very much essential to make the balance of agni because agni is the thing which always makes the catabolism and metabolism of the body so all the functions depends on agni in ayurveda the agni is uh, uh, different divided into 13 kinds actually okay so this all acne depends upon the microbiome or gut bacteria that's the concept even in siddha and ayurveda okay so based on this only everything works that's the thing which we can find in definition of health also in ayurveda along with the equilibrium of doshas etc acne is also added sama acne it's very important so the health is is a complete balance of agni also so that much importance is given in ayurveda or in siddha so this is actually we can uh, talk about agni in ayurveda that is actually meant about gut okay so agni is something which we deal in ayurveda is similar to the gut what we call now okay that's the thing. okay doctor suppose a patient comes with um, uh, diarrhea or like loose stools or this person is going to the bathroom several times so what medications in the medications do you prefer uh, we are mainly const- uh, concentrate on uh, diet and also medications uh, it is said that unave marandu we have to follow food as medicine yes. it is important for us so we can mainly for the gut microbe we can uh, give and give the foods like uh, neeraharam which is a fermented rice water mm-hmm. or like idli and dosha then uh, fermented rice porridge then millet porridge like cool which we mentioned in siddha also uh, the curd and buttermilk can be given for that so it Im- that uh, improves the gut microbiome mm-hmm. and for uh, like medications we can uh, give like thayir chundi churnam or it, it is uh, it mainly contains sugar which is the dried ginger mm-hmm. and so it can uh, it mainly helps in the uh, from the gut microbiome and also for promoting the digestive fire we can give medicines like eladi churnam panchadibagni churnam for improving the digestive fire okay what about an ayurveda approach approach uh, about the gut system uh, we actually as we discussed the agni is the prime factor which always consider mm-hmm. based on the agni we have different kinds of kosha we tell okay. okay based on the agni only we can decide how uh, the per- Uh, how the digestion happens we call it as tikshna agni manda agni like that and all so what basically ayurveda tells before explaining disease it's, itself is how we have to take the food how it should be at what time one person has to eat and what are the dietetic rules actually elaborate explanation is in is, in, is there is there in ayurveda like 12 uh, principles uh, you have to take uh, food as hot not uh, too much of too much fast not too much slow uh, you take uh, according to your uh, appetite mm-hmm. uh, like obese person should take 
twice in twice a day if somebody is having very light uh, acne only one one day meal so what are the things nowadays we are trying everything explained in our system but unfortunately we are not following that so that's why we are compromising uh, so many things and just end up in the so many kind of diseases uh, when we talk about the diseases we have lot of uh, a uh, problem nowadays facing for example the disease pattern like crohn's disease ulcerative colitis colitis or some other n- neurological disorder uh, actually we can uh, we can see a study i think from australian university they were telling some kind of gut microbe endotoxin is found in parkinson's own case so such kind of research is happening that's why the modern people are doing fecal transplantation to improve the the acne because they are replacing to- the total acne of a patient so that much importance is there for the gut micro bio so that's why nowadays for everything prebiotics probiotics symbiotics all this happens actually ayurveda and siddha system is based on the acne ahara krama and how to take what to take when to take by whom this should take yeah yeah this all well explained in ayurvedic system so that is the speciality of ayurveda and siddha system relating with the gut uh, health so using our uh, using our systems so you can say that gut problems can be cured sure sure that is not only the uh, stomach or intestine it has various connection with different system that's why i told mm-hmm. gut brain uh, connection Uh, or what are the uh, outcome of bad bacteria uh, how it happens and how it uh, hampers the other system even liver disorder uh, heart disease so many chemicals is released mm-hmm. for example in ayurveda and siddha it is mentioned that you have to have a normal loose stools in the morning okay. what happens if it's if stool stays for a long time some gases like sulfur some it's it's produced inside the gut this kind of gas or this kind of bad chemicals hampers the good bacteria mm. that's why the proper evacuation proper diet after getting appetite only we have to take this kind of rules is actually must to maintain the gut microbiome okay so that is well explained okay doctor can you suggest some medications for improving the gut health gut health okay uh, the famous drug we always follow is ashtachurna 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 is the simple drug from the uh, from one year onwards we can give to a even to child also and to for a young age adulthood age any time we can have this ashtachurnam that based on the condition we can add or change the adjuvants so ashtachurnam is the basic thing which always ignites the fire or uh, mm. it's a, it ignites the agni mm. and panchakola churnam uh, a lot of arishtas also is there like mm-hmm. uh, because fermented things are working well in this kind of cases because oh. microbiome or bacteria need some fermented atmosphere mm-hmm. so arishta can be a good choice for okay. example our famous abhi arishtam mm-hmm. uh, udarasudha such kind of arishtams also will work in this condition jeeraka arishtam anything which fermented will work that's why they are giving prebiotics also mm-hmm. so these are the general medicines and trigadu churnam uh, we commonly use commonly. and also we have to evacuate stools also so tribala churnam such kind of evacuating or uh, eliminating uh, the normal feces that's also we can add that also will give improve the acne also okay. so which always gives appetizing mm-hmm. or deepana we call and mm-hmm. also anulomanam which moves the doshas eliminating doshas this combined effect what are the medicines we get panchakola savam mm-hmm. such kind of things we can add okay you are what you eat so nurture your gut and transform your health